he's developing film. Hey yo, are those pictures of me? Hello and welcome back. I'm so glad that you are here right now. I was perusing the, the depths of Steam and came across this game called The Bed We Made, where I believe I'm like a maid in a hotel and you know, I come across some things that I probably shouldn't have seen, but that's what we do when you're a snooper, you know? Just big snoop energy, you know? And uh, we just get into some trouble. So let's let's see what kind of trouble we actually do get into here in this bed we made. Let's get into it. I'm actually pretty excited. Uh, I've always wanted to own a hotel. Is that a like a weird thing to want? This game takes account of all your actions, including the ones you decide not to take. These choices will determine your fate and the fates of others around you. Proceed with caution. I'll take that as a challenge. Service de police post 22 Montreal. Come on now, miss. Oh God. Let's keep moving. What are okay? Sensitivity? Stupid. Right off the bat. How is that still like this? I need to turn the DPI down on my mouse. I love the black and white aesthetic of this game. It's on your right here. Oh. Why can't I turn? Like the map. Am I supposed to be seeing this? I'll go in here. There's a witness going on in there. Uh, I can't go back. He's like blocking me. Oh no, I thought he was. This is pretty cool. Okay, I'm going into interview room four. I was already snooping on somebody else's interview. Good luck. Why do you look like that? Not that yeah, people can look however they want. It's just, you know, I, his graphics looked weird. Sophie Roy, I'm Detective Maurice Tremblay. Let's see. 21 years old, working at the planetary for a year. 21. Husband? I'm sorry? Are you married? No, not yet. I live with my mother. She's sick, so I have to take care of her. No father? No. It's always just been me and my mom. All right, Miss Roy. I mm. need you to tell me everything that happened, starting with this morning. La fontaine, les filles s'en vont et s'y promènent au bras des garçons. Tu les entraînes au cœur des buissons où elles étreignent l'amour en saison. I don't know what like percentage of Canadians know how to speak French fluently. Les plus belles chansons d'amour. This music loud enough? There's a Vatican radio station. You saw that? Now just a bit of tidying up and I can go on break. Okay, so I got to make the bed. I got to clean. So I'm assuming whenever I go into like present day with the interview is going to be black and white and my memories are in color. All right, let's do some cleaning. What? I gotta wipe it myself. Consider me immersed. Hello? How much more is there? It's still kind of dark right there, ain't it? Mm, good enough. Good enough. I mean, you're right. You are right. 
Ooh, like calling. Oh, exactly. Ma'am, okay, uh, let's, let's turn this off, actually. Because I have a high feeling that that's just the most copywritten song imaginable right now. Place pillow. Yeah, that's not complete without its pillow. How'd the pillow get over here? Isn't that like where you put luggage? It like, isn't that like a pretty dirty area? Why would you put the pillow on that? Very bad mateage, you know what I'm saying? Interact. Hmm. Only menswear. Are you in town for a business trip, maybe? Oh, she's like a detective, really. She's over here thinking thoughts and things. That's a lot of money to owe. Just what did you get yourself involved in? Okay, you know me. You know my family. You've had a seat at your bar. No, yeah, you've had a seat at your bar since the day we opened in 49. You're more than a friend to us. You're practically family. And while friends are polite to each other, family deserves more. Family deserves honesty. As such, I want to be as direct as possible in letting you know that you're down to your last chance. The $8,380 you owe us plus 25% interest is now eight months overdue. Patience has been uh, worn thin. This isn't like one of your unpaid bar tabs. You come to us for help and help always comes at a price. We've opened our pockets to you time and time again, and all you've done is taken advantage of our goodwill and our generosity. We'll come over in person to make our collection tomorrow. I'll be bringing along the boys, so you can all sit down and have a little chat. But just so you know, they aren't too good with words. Yeah, by, he's about to get roughed up. I feel like what, whatever year this is, it's probably like maybe in the 50s or something. Uh, Because he said that that bar was open in 49, so maybe a year from then. But $8,380 is a lot of money. Even right now, like that's, that's, a pretty, that's a pretty good amount of money. But like in the 50s, like I don't know how much that is, but I feel like that's like well over 10 times that, you know? Maybe like 80,000 at this point. Um, Very cool. Oh, I could have done that. That would have been easier to read. Dude, I'm already liking this game a lot. I love detective kind of games. Acknowledgement of debt. Oh, so it's 1958, I guess. Uh, initial amount of $1,500. Amount overdue is $3,500. Damn, dude. So they blurred out some names or like smudged it out. Last name says Mayhew. I can't read the second lane. On the date of the initial loan, the lender agreed to lend an amount of money to the sum of $1,500 to borrow for an enduring period of 12 months calculated from the date of the initial loan. Somebody's not paying their bills around here. I'm gonna catch up to, is that, is that Jergens? It's not, looks like perfume. Uh, do I put this comb away? I leave that there, interesting. Okay, let's put that away. I just put it in my pocket, love that, video game logic. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Mapleson, regretful as we are to uh, have to resort to these lines of communication, our client and your neighbor, the owner of the 88 32nd Street, has been ultimately evasive of our many attempts to reach out and collect our debts. Specifically, the amount owed to us at the sum of one... So there's so much money being owed here. Uh, 1904. Uh, he has given us little recourse, but I can't read, but to contact him through those in close physical proximity to him in hopes that they can deliver a message on our behalf. We have little desire to disturb you and the other fine citizens of 32nd Street, but our business may bring us back to your neighborhood if it is not resolved quickly. The help of your kind community would be greatly appreciated. For us, and certainly for your neighbor, kindly, lucky coin financing. Nothing on the back. There's a, a boot mark on the back. Let's do our job. Le petit regal. A martini for 80 cents? 
Damn, bro, they just taxing for no reason. It's expensive here, ain't it? Whose hat is this? Are we just like, like cleaning up the room like during the day or something like that? Like, there's already people in this. Uh, you brought your this room? own mug. Well, I guess ours aren't quite as complimentary. Best dad. I love the the noise that this mug is making. It's very ASMR right now. Um, am I actually gonna find anything in these, or is it just like, hey, look, we added the fact that you can open stuff. I'm sure it'll come in handy later. Okay. Uh, should I not be fixing that? No. Why can't I? It said clean. Uh, am I tripping? Yeah, I'm really glad they didn't make me wipe that. Uh, oh no, they're gonna make me wipe it. Yeah, let's get it. I love bathroom cleaning simulator. I love what I'm playing right now. And voila, good as new. Uh, if you say so, how did it get dirty off of one use? Like, don't we come here every day? Why can't I clean that mirror? A shoehorn. Press and hold. Confirm to exit. Uh, I think that's everything. Yeah, well, I'm out of here, bro. Enough of this room. 504. Interesting. Do I have to remember that? Uh, okay, reception. Was that a like a door closing or somebody dropping onto the floor or a gunshot? I can't tell what that noise was supposed to be. Are they really talking about me on my face like this? You need to get your excitement somewhere. Okay. Did you see Rebecca come in this morning? They're talking about like an insane asylum or something that they're building, but I've actually hold on, I'll tell the story later. Sophie speaking. Hey, it's Ben. Do you think you could come up real quick? Um, sure. I'll be right there. You're right, you shouldn't. No, I didn't know why that didn't come. I was so in love with you that I couldn't sleep. What? He's whispering him sweet nothings in their ear. I hear it. Okay. Press Q to hear Sophie's thoughts. Let's see what Beth wanted to talk about. Okay. Mm, now's not the time to pick up smoking, Sophie. Oh, shock. Leaving luggage in the lobby? Are you trying to get Bernard to kill you? Restroom? I can't tell if my FPS is low or game just looks weird. Oh, yeah, this is a million times better. It's bad. It's old, old computer, man. Hey, Beth. Hey there. So, who's sleeping? Sleep what? You were whispering just now on the phone, so I thought maybe Eugene or Bobby were napping in the break room again. Oh, yeah, no... It's Jacques and Wendy. They were, um, in the middle of something. Ugh, it's so awkward when they start making <laughs> out like no one's watching. Get a room. 
We literally work in a hotel. Uh, funny. I tried to ignore them. They weren't kissing. I, that's their business. I tried to ignore them. You said you needed me? Yeah, exactly. Let's get to the point here. You said you needed me? Oh, straight to business then. Sorry, it's just a busy day. I get it. Right? It's you hear the gossip. Stop for me this morning too. Want to guess why I summoned you here? Uh, something to clean. Um, I don't know. See a mouse. Yeah, bro. Like, what? Do I want to guess? Yeah, I'm let me guess. There's something I have to clean. Obviously, but what is it? Uh, did a kid throw up again? God, no. Did that happen recently? Yeah, last week. I can still smell it. That's Feel disgusting. It While I was Feel cleaning, it? some of it. Got... Uh, I'm gonna stop you right there. Thank Keep you. talking, and you'll be cleaning up after me too. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, you'll be glad to know it's nothing gross this time. A nice gentleman decided it was time to redesign the lobby and helped us by knocking over that vase on his way out of the hotel. That's it? I would do it myself, but the last time I tried to leave the front desk, Bernard emerged from his lair to scold me about procedures and whatnot. Well, we can't have the beauty of the Clarington Hotel take absence from her throne, can we? Oh, the people would riot. Bernard especially. <laughs> Bernard's hardly the people. Anyway, I have to get back. The way to work. people move in this game There's is so like. There's a mop in the supply closet next to Bernard's office, I think. Thanks. Reminds me of like those, like Instagram reels or TikToks, when uh, people are building their house out of galvanized steel rods or whatever it's called. Like, like a man and a wife move into a one bedroom in a closet and they have to build a room for their 100 kids. When you, know, you know what I'm talking about? Everywhere lately. It's weird that Bernard allows it. You can be divorced against your will. Huh? Women and children suffer the most in divorce. You lose your succession rights in divorce. The wife's pension rights are lost in divorce. You lose your right to the family home in divorce. Uh, okay. Press E to open Sophie's journal. Am I tripping? Even if it's only a few minutes out of my day, my chats with Beth are always a highlight. She called me up to clean a mess made by one of our guests, which gave us a chance to catch up. I don't think I've met someone who can make conversations seem so effortless. Beth has a witty response for everything. It's too bad maids aren't usually allowed in the lobby. Chatting with her every day would be a great day, great way to start my morning. Journal shows your progress through the story. Okay, let's get that mop from the supply closet. Linda, Wendy's great at her job. Bernhard. Yes, absolutely love her and huh, not just guests apparently. Oh god damn it, Linda! I only like her because guests like her. Making no. sure guests are happy is my job after all. You don't seem to care whether I'm happy. <sighs> Listen. Hey yo. If Wendy wasn't doing her job, that'd be another story. But I can't just fire her without good reason. What if she stirred up trouble among the staff? Would that be a good reason? Curiosity killed the cat. Oh, Andrew, hi. I, I was, I mean, I'm sorry. I was just spying on our manager. No, I, I heard something. Yeah. And I. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. I'm just pulling your leg. I'm, I'm sorry I scared you. I'm just, I, I'm not used to having people around me while I work. Yeah, you're always working alone up there, aren't you? I actually think it's the first time I've seen you down in the lobby. Don't tell me you've been sent to clean up after the Valentine's Day ball. I heard it was a disaster. Actually, Beth called me here. Were you there during the ball? Were you here Friday night to see the whole thing? Yeah. They had someone in charge of the event, but she ended up crying alone in the stairwell. So I had to take over. What Bo happened? Bo was barely opening his mouth. Did it really go so wrong? It certainly didn't go wrong for the people enjoying the party, but... For those sober around them, that's another story. Good God. I'm glad I didn't have to be there. I don't know how you do it. And I don't know how you handle cleaning up after other people all day. You must see plenty of weird stuff, right? Yeah. What's the weirdest thing you found in a guest's room? Okay. Something very odd, something gross. Something about you? 
Yeah. Well, that I don't was know about this you, man. lady who had a love letter addressed to someone I know. What? No way. Uh, who was it? You. You're messing with me. <laughs> it was worth seeing your face turn red. Wow. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> oh. I uh, sure did, pal. Better go help Beth. It's Andrew hell. Rossi. It's, so it's okay. I need to um Yeah. All right. Take care. You too. Hey, don't tell nobody I was spying on our boss. I can open this door? That's obviously not a good idea. Bobby made it very clear he doesn't like anyone walking into his kitchen uninvited. Back here, the stairs? Stairs, exercise. Okay. Elevator, convenience. Yeah, elevator wins this time. Where's the mop? Oh, it's right here. Use the mop to clean the puddle. Thing I want is to look like a beggar. It's not begging beggar. The other party's getting something in return. I'm sure they still have lessons of that. Oops, so Andrew caught me eavesdropping. Bernard and Linda, who was once again complaining about Wendy, thankfully he didn't make a big deal of it. Doesn't seem kind of he doesn't seem the, the kind to judge. He actually is quite nice. He's gonna talk to, fun to tease, and funny. In his own quiet quiet way, quiet way. Uh I hope i'll get a chance to talk to him more i get the sense that there's a lot more to him than he willingly shows beth has been the hotel's receptionist for as far as i can remember but god i'm really not about to do all that wendy and jock okay yeah so that's the, the people in the closet downstairs is wendy wendy is one of them Have a word with our kitchen staff to make sure it doesn't happen again. Okay. Well, that sounds a bit Let's do our job. Oh god, they're making me do it again. Is that a camera roll? Inspect. A film roll? Guest must have dropped it when he knocked over the vase. Probably should return it to him. Let me put back. Oh. Inspect. Ew. I better throw that away. Okay, just making sure. Just making sure. You never know. Uh, can I? Yeah, throw away. All right. So much satisfaction. It's like Microsoft Paint. I'm using the eraser right now. Is this how you want mop things at home to go around in circles? If so, you shouldn't. Now I just put the leaves back in the vase and it'll be like nothing ever happened. Let me take those leaves out of my pocket real quick. There it is. Say no to divorce. I'm not reading that again. Can I play this? Can I run. That's a good sign. I cannot sprint. Unless it's just not shift. Anything else over here I can touch? I just love touching things. I understand, Mr. Ramsey. I wish I could make the snowstorm disappear. I really do. But sadly, that's not within my power. Beth, who knocked over that vase? Mr. Spade. Mr. Spade? Well, I can check with the airport and let you know when flights resume. Until David then, Spade? Yes, yes, I know. You've said that already. But... No, that's very uh, yeah, guess I'll look for him myself. What is this? Bernard still leaves these around the front desk? Guess he didn't hear Beth when she swore she'd burn the place to the ground next time she had to suffer through one of his sermons. Very cool. I guess well, I'll look for Mr. Spade. Which room are you staying in, Mr. Spade? God. Mm, sadly, uh, I don't have a phone. 
He's a bit of an old fashioned fellow, if you know what I mean. Okay, I see him. 505. Yes. The room right next to the room I initially well, was in. I Interesting. Finding a nice little corner where you can kneel down, all right? Then you clasp If I ring this, will that interrupt your phone call? Really hard about just how much you want uh. the snowstorm to end. It may help to repeat his name too. It's um, She doesn't seem to mind. G O D. I'm sure he will be All this trash on the floor. What year is it? It is 1958. Arrested in deviant raid. No, I, I'm dead serious. It's Personal <laughs> hygiene worry you? Are those worries bothering your husband? Hello? Stop worrying and save your marriage with lye soil. Okay. Washing what floor? Might as well. Already have a mop. I'm really, like, probably the best maid this place has ever had, honestly. Nobody is out mating me, you know? This leak really needs to be fixed. Oh, it's a leak. I hope the weather doesn't make it worse. Uh, it will. Where am I going? I need to get back to the logbook and find Mr. Spade's room number. It was 505. Like, I, what do you mean? Am, am I supposed to click it or something? I clearly saw that it was 505. 505. Ah, uh, okay. Hover with. Okay. Okay. Then it was right here at 505. Room 505. Great. That's on my floor. I can return that phone roll without going out of my way. Uh, okay. Anybody else cool in this thing that I should be looking at? Calls to cancel. Call me. Anybody in here for an extended period of time? Okay, I don't care actually. Put it down. I felt bad bugging Beth while she was in the middle of an important call, but like always, she came through. The logbook says Mr. Spade in room 505. Uh, I was just in the middle of taking care of the fifth floor before my break. I can return to the film room and get right back to my schedule. Too easy, man. I should go to the fifth floor to return Mr. Spade's film roll. That we shall do. Hold it, please. Ah. Uh, why are you Phew. running? Made it. Thanks. You're welcome. Was it you who cleaned the puddle by the restrooms? Was I not supposed to? Well... Eugene asked us not to touch anything until he's repaired the leak, but it's probably safer this way. Someone could have slipped on it. Oh? Which floor? Oh, uh, sixth. Thanks. I got an achievement for cleaning a puddle. <laughs> Most maids not doing that. I need to bring this to I'm top 1% maid. The one who rented the entire floor. Oh, is it that British man I keep hearing about? Uh, all the girls complain about him. Isn't he famous? Why does he need snow? Yeah, what the Why hell? Does he need a bucket full of snow? No idea. I don't even ask anymore. It's just the latest in a long series of strange requests. What do you reckon he'll do with it? Take a bath, maybe? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if he's just pulling an elaborate prank on me. Can't you tell me who he is? I've never actually met him. I always talk to his assistant. Only Bernard knows his identity. Um, hmm. I do have a suspicion, though. Oh? But I'm I'm not sure I should say it. Can't you at least give me a hint? Yeah, come on. Okay, let me think. Whew. Saved by the bell. Hey, come on. Don't leave me hanging. Let's just say I like to prolong the suspense. Wait. Is that the hint? Who knows? Fair enough. Have fun up there. You too. It toodles, Andrew. The elevator leads right here. How convenient. Any more stuff I can touch? This must have been so much fun. Well, for the guests at least. Us maids never get to enjoy anything. 
Enter selection mode. What? I can like touch. I can like. Okay, but there's nothing here. It's okay. Beth has been. To, why does it keep telling me to? I should return Mr. Spade's film roll. Room five hundred five is on my list anyway. You know, I just gotta keep touching things He's first. Carrying this everywhere really make us better maids. Bernard seems to think so. Be invisible. Be thorough. Be careful. Partial cleaning. Huh? Uh, complete cleaning. Okay. Hmm, it's already open. I wonder why. Mr. Spade? Uh, David, sir. Mr. Spade? Oh. What's going on here, man? Why is your door open? You got a lot of film rolls there, buddy. What's, uh, what's going on with that? Are there safes in every room? There's a film development room in your hotel room? Like, what? What? Did you, like, ask for that, like, specially? Uh, what? How does a hotel room come with that? He's developing film. Hey, yo. Are those pictures of me? Tampering with objects may lead to positive or negative consequences. Uh, I can inspect them, though. Do I have an angry face on? You see that? I won't tamper with them. I'm just going to inspect them, you know? Is she putting perfume in her face? He took two of those. Because, like, yeah, he's probably asking the same question, like, why are you putting perfume in your eyes? You just like, oh, is, am I like using somebody else's perfume and I shouldn't have been using it or something? She they caught me in the act of. Also, I went into somebody's bag, opened it, found some perfume, sprayed it in my eyes for some reason, and then put it back. And somebody has evidence of that. Tampering with objects may lead to a positive or negative consequences. So I can probably take these away and then prevent anybody from seeing it. And then I'll probably have to lie my way out of it. Uh, or I'll leave them there and don't let anybody know that I was already in here. But technically I was already in here because I put the film room back in the, in the ting, you know. But they don't know that I went in here and tampered with their stuff. Throw away the gloves. Why would I clean the mirror? I'm not touching anything in here. Inspect. Fine green developer. Hmm. Uh. A disturbing discovery. Room 505 greeted me with a sight I could never see coming. A makeshift dark room filled with pictures of me snooping through a guest's items. My heart has never beat so quickly. Shall I call the police? Andrew's mystery guest. I bumped into Andrew in the elevator. Sounds of a VIP guest. Okay, yeah. On the sixth floor. Dude, I'm not... <sighs> I should either clean it or I should throw it all away. I mean, they are pictures of me. I didn't consent to this person taking pictures of me, no? Fuck it, I'm throwing them away. How dare you? How dare you? We're throwing all these away. 
You think you can just take pictures of me? You think this is some sort of game? <laughs> You've made me angry now. Matter of fact, I'm throwing away all of your stuff. I mean, that could be like real. Like, I don't know. Fuck it. Just gonna clean it. <laughs> it was part of my job. I would just do my job. I'm just cleaning things. What's the problem? I don't know if I should throw away his like items though, you know? That that doesn't make sense. I, I threw away the pictures of me because, you know, they're of me. And how dare you? But like to throw away his like stuff in his room, that doesn't really make sense. I'm just gonna clean it, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna clean it. I'm not gonna throw away all the stuff. I should bring that back to my cart. Oh, what am I doing? Reception desk, Beth speaking. What can I do for you on this very fine day? Beth, I need your help. I need Andrew's help. Who you want as my acolyte? Uh, Beth seems kind of like nosy. Andrew seems like. Uh, he's cool and he's on my side. Plus, he probably likes me or something. Beth, it's Sophie. Can I... Can I speak to Andrew, please? Um... Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Manipulation. Andrew? Andrew? I'm here. I'm here. <clears throat> Clarington Hotel Reception Desk. Andrew speaking. Hey. Are you okay? Hey, Sophie. Yeah, it's just... My trip to the sixth floor took longer than expected. Oh, I'm sorry to add to your plate, but I really need your help. Sure. What's up? I, I think Mr. Spade's stalking me while I work. Mr. Spade? Why would he... Because I'm a bad bitch. Found a dark room. He caught me snooping. Do I want to be so... You know, I gotta... Technically, I'm not being... Dishonest by saying I found a dark room. Or. Yeah, I found I a dark room. Know. He took pictures of me. I. I found them hanging over the bathtub. He set up a kind of. Dark room. Jesus. What are you doing in them exactly? Oh, um, God. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but. Sometimes. When I clean the rooms, I get a little curious and, um, you know, snoop through our guest stuff. Oh. Dirty dog. And Mr. Spade caught you in the act. Yes. Mm. I think, I think we should call the police. Whoa, slow down a minute. But. Sophie, there are pictures of you invading our guest's privacy. But I didn't steal anything. I was just snooping, I swear. No, I threw him away. I believe you. Others might not. With those pictures, it could really blow up in your face if a guest were to complain about missing items. I threw the pictures out. Well, I threw them out. Uh, well, that's one way to deal with it, I guess. You said you found the pictures hanging over the bath, right? Were they still wet? Mm, I wouldn't say wet, but a little damp, yeah. Okay. So he must have developed them Recently. Okay. What are you getting at? Well, the pictures you found were left there to dry, but he could have developed more of them in an earlier batch. He wouldn't have left them in the bathroom, though. Probably stored them somewhere dry. Oh, he has more. 
Guess I could keep looking. You want me to snoop? Are you telling me I should snoop around? Well, it's nothing you haven't done before, is it? Hey. You? Nah, come on. <laughs> she's she's had a she's had a little little hair to uh. Any idea where hair I adjustment? Start, then? Well, according you feeling to my notes, Mr. Spade asked for the combination to his room safe. There's a good chance he stored more pictures in it. Maybe, but I don't have the code. Maybe I can. Give me a sec. Good old Andrew. Shoot. What? Oh. Bad news Am is I? I can't find the combination list. Good news is we can probably do without it. Most guests write their code down to make sure they don't forget it. So, say you wanted to look for it. I could keep an eye out and call you if I see our mysterious photographer return. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Oh, and Andrew? Hey, yes. Please keep this between us. Of course. Don't worry about that. Huh. I wonder if going with Andrew... Oh. You chose Andrew as your acolyte. Yeah, I feel like Beth is just too into the into the gossip, you know? What is that? A razor blade? Cut in... Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Villanueva's French-English Dictionary. I mean, I can still make the bed, right? Still doing my job. It's not like I'm a bad maid or anything. I just, I just steal sometimes. Then you're good. He was in the military, 99th Infantry Division, Belgium, November 1944. Any clues you pick up or throw away can be found in Sophie's journal. Uh, pictures of me snooping. Darkroom tools. Army camp picture. Falling in front of the camp. Gotcha. Birds of North America. <laughs> so he's a nerd. What, what is being added here? A book about North American birds. Uh, okay, that's a clue somehow. Can I get out of here? Okay. Oh God. Lock. Oh whoa whoa. Uh, excuse me, sir. You're actually not allowed to put holes in our walls. Uh, okay. Guess I'm inspecting things now. Special occasion. Heading. Funeral. The oratory. I just went there for the first time in... God, it, it's been years, hasn't it? Montreal, Quebec. Back. World capital of worship to Saint Joseph. What happened here? Okay. Montreal tramways. It's got some tickets. Wait, is that? I should take a closer look. Oh, I didn't mean that. I did one skating there just a few weeks ago. Enter selection mode. Well, that's probably the code for the room, I guess. These look like numbers. Sort of. These look like numbers. Sort of. Huh, okay. So I gotta figure out how to... These look like numbers 
sort of. Open the lock in some way. Two, 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 two. And there's like a seven at the very left side. It looks like there's like musical notes. Next to, I don't know. And there's like a G next to, okay, anyway. Let's keep it going. Harry's diner too. Were we ever there at the same time? Creepy. He took two Cokes, two burgers, and an extra fry for 10 cents. Love that for you. There's another number down there that says four with like a little swirly on it. Interessante. This was the sale where I found that witchy jacket that mom loves. Were you there too? Is this person trying to like stalk my entire life? That's the route I take to get to work. No. What's on the lake? Morgan. Is that your real name? Why did oh. you check in under Mr. Spade? Uh, or is he stealing somebody's mail? Liars, receipts, and tickets that seem to indicate I'm being followed outside of work. You just hung it up on the wall like I wouldn't ever come in here? Unless, did he want me to find this? I have envelopes tied together with a rope. The map on the wall makes everything weirder. Every thread points to a place I visited lately. But what does that mean? Is this a series of wild coincidences, or am I really being stalked? If I am, why me of all people? Okay, Sophie, just stay calm. There has to be a rational explanation here. I just need to find it. Is this a floor of the Clarington? Did I just hear somebody speak? Housekeeping, 10 to 4 a.m. Room service, night. Mostly. Lobby boys, 8 to 11 a.m. Trying to like find where I go. One man's trash is another maid's trash. Scam. Scam spread. Let's go this way. Tells me you won't be missing this. Cambos. Probably doesn't make sense to look at all these Frank's beans. Oh, we're just I eating canned eat beans. beans. I just put all the trash in my pocket. That's the clock I'm hearing. Old sport. Bright menthol. Well, light menthol. <laughs> old, oh, I said old sport. Old port instead of new port. Funny. Uh, request to move to 507. Why did you want to change rooms? Huh. The present letter is to confirm the reception of your transfer request to room 507. Regrettably, the room in question is currently occupied by an extended stay guest. We are therefore unable to grant your request. Thank you for understanding. Please contact us if you have any other requests. Lindsay's address. Infantry division. Uh, year of hospital discharge. Okay, so... I'm assuming that's the code for the, the safe. So Lindsay's address, I need to find that. He was in the 99th Infantry Division and then the year of hospital discharge, I'll have to find that as well. Andrew was right, our guest did write down the safe combination or at least the reminder of it. Might be blue. okay. So he was in 99th Infantry Division, Lindsay's address, year of hospital discharge. 
I'd forget my own head if I didn't write everything down. Do I not guess forget to take your pills. Yeah. Do you mind? Worse. I hope Mom's not too bored without her TV shows. My dude was really peeping out here, man. What do we have here? Key to something. Are these the coffee mugs for the room? I'll be having that. Tissues on the floor. Socks on the radiator. My boy. What are you on? Hey. What's this? Oh. And they were roommates. I see you, my boy. No one at school suspected what took place once their door was locked. Um. Oh wait, I do have Lindsay's address. It's 34. Letter from Bernard, letter from Bernard about the room transfer. Not able to do that. Pills reminder, binoculars. They were roommates. Okay, now I just need to find out like what. Oh, I can unlock this. Yoink. Put the pillow back. This is essentially what he already has a picture of. Any more perfume I can... Oh uh, yeah, when did you get out the hospital, buddy? You spent 10 years in a psychiatric hospital. And it looks like you left with a long list of diagnoses. And prescriptions. Damn, dude. He's born in 1924. Date of admission, date of discharge was... 230857. I don't know which... Most likely the year... I think it's a year of discharge. So it's 57. Uh, attending physician. Uh, discharge diagnosis. Anxiety. Character disorder. Chronic insomnia. Short term memory loss. Patient initially admitted for nervous breakdown. Patient displayed erratic behavior and mood swings. Occasionally aggressive. Don't like that. Patient non responsive to shock treatment. Neither insulin or electric. Patient condition improved after new medication. Meprobamate. 400 milligrams daily. Yikes. Imagine me throwing this away. Paul. 1942. It's got a... Uh, is he Paul? You just got another man in your in your bag. Probably somebody, one of his homies that he lost. Okay, let's close. No, let's close that. No, no, no. Let's put the key back. Actually, uh, I'm actually not done here. I hope that doesn't make me go away. Who? Oh, Mr. Spade? No, no, he's not. Andrew? You said you'd call if he was coming back to his room. Right. I I did, right. Uh, sorry about that. Oh my god, Andrew. I nearly had a heart attack when I heard the phone ring. I'm so sorry, Sophie. I I couldn't help but check in. Did you find more pictures of you? Uh dialogue options marked with blah 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 allow you to end the conversation quicker. No, but I did find a map. No, I haven't. But I did find something else. What is it? He's got a kind of yarn map of Montreal on the wall. Whoa. Like they have in the movies? What is he tracking? Me, I think. What's going the on, s marked at a couple of spots. They're all places I've visited recently. I appreciate the lurk. Jesus. Did you... Uh, have you found...
found anything on him? Uh, the log options with the little reach around will bring you back to the conversation. Bring you back to this conversation point. Just been his real name. He spent time in a psychiatric hospital. I'll know more soon. He seems to have spent some time in a psychiatric hospital. Oh, he did? Well, a lot of people do, really. More than you'd think. It's not that weird. Uh, what does he suffer from? According nah, to bro. He was there for 10 um, years. Insomnia, anxiety, memory loss. He's probably been through some pretty traumatic events. So probably from the war. All you found him? He was in World War II. Mr. Spain is his real name. I found some evidence that points to his real name being Paul Morgan. Mr. Spade must be an alias. The Maltese Falcon. The Mal what? Eh. I can't believe I didn't notice it earlier. The Maltese Falcon. It's a book centered around a private investigator named Sam Spade. Oh, you don't think Mr. Morgan's a PI too, do you? Well, if he is, he's not exactly being subtle about it. It's like being a spy and using James Bond as a pseudonym. James who? Never mind. It's from another <laughs> book. Did you find anything else? I discovered an army picture taken in Belgium in 1944. I think he was in World War II. That would certainly explain his symptoms. Imagine all the horrors he must have seen. Yeah, I can't you know imagine. What division he was in, by any chance? 99. 99th Infantry, I think. <gasps> the Battle Babies. The Battle, Battle babies. babies? That's a weird nickname. That's because most of the soldiers in the 99th were inexperienced. Still, they fared well against the Germans. Got medals of honor and everything. Uh, magnifying glass icon in, like, indicates dialogue options unlocked thanks to your thorough snooping. Oh, I wasn't thorough enough. Okay. How do you know so much about this? How do you know so much about World War II? From books, obviously. Of course. Well, I'm glad you know so much about so much stuff. Who knew being a huge nerd would pay off one day? <laughs> Found anything else on Mr. Morgan? I'll know more soon. More once I open the safe. Wait, you figured out the combination already? It took some work, but yes. Wow. You're a resourceful gal, aren't you? I have my moments. Well, I'll leave you to it then. Okay, I'll call you back. Please do. And I won't call again unless Mr. Morgan returns. For real this time. All right. Thanks. I have a feeling he's going to get called away from the desk or something and... There's more stuff to look at. He's left his key here. Thing. Do not forget to buy more film. Um, clue. Okay. Hospital discharge. Okay, so. What was the order of the code for getting in there? I think that was in progress, right? Oh god. So it was 349954? Was that Lindsay's address? It was 34, right? I do believe so. Fifty-four, ninety-nine, fifty-four. Did you intend for me to discover your little dark room, or did this just fall down? Hmm. I have a feeling he did it on purpose to see if I would come in here. I probably shouldn't have threw them the pictures away. I should have been more subtle about it. Oopsie. Uh, hold to turn the dial. Uh, uh, 34, 99, 54. Damn it. Come on, so 
trophy. Ah, uh, what? Am I tripping? Thirty-four. Or maybe it's the wrong order. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Year of hospital discharge was fifty-four. Correct? Oh, it's fifty-seven. Right? Yeah, it was fifty-seven. I'm tripping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. Someone's gonna see this. You opened a safe in room night. Inspect. Uh, yeah. Ain't nobody gotta inspect that. M and H. M and H. Who are they? Are they guests here? Who are these people? Uh, let's turn and paint. Uh, okay. So at 12.30 a.m., arrived at the hotel. Room not ready yet. Had to wait in the lobby. At 2.45 p.m., M and H came in. Both nicely dressed. M was how... M was holding a flower bouquet. Heard them talking to the receptionist, saying how nice the oratory was. Picked up some flyers to find out what the oratory they were talking about. Oh, shit. Uh, at 3.10 p.m., room finally ready. No sign of M and H. Decided to unpack and install my setup in a bathroom. At 6 p.m., still no sign of M and H. Have probably gone out again. 8.20 p.m., finished developing this afternoon's pictures. 11.55 p.m., unable to sleep. Heard weird noises from the corridor. No idea who or what it was. Next page. Oh, You're God. Going through their trash? You really want to find out what M and H are up to, don't you? At 10.20 a.m. I think this is the next day, right? Yeah, the next day. At 10.20 a.m., M&H arrived at their hotel's restaurant and ate a quick breakfast. At 10.35 a.m., M&H left the hotel and got into a taxi, tried to follow, but had no money for a cab. At 12 a.m., uh, how did you, how do you go from 10.35 a.m. to 12 a.m.? Wouldn't it be... 10.35 to like 12 p.m. Like that's how that, whatever. Found a pawn shop to get some money, but no idea where M&H went. At 12.55 a.m. Uh, back in my room, we ha we'll have to kill time until M&H return. Uh, at 5.40 p.m. Spotted M&H entering a hotel with Weston shopping bags. At 6.10 p.m., M&H... Uh, are eating at the hotel restaurant at 6.25 p.m. H left for the bathroom. M exchanged a few words with a woman and her child. 7 p.m. M and H left the restaurant, probably returning for the night. While leaving, H emptied pockets into the trash at 7.05. Searched the trash. It's crazy. Found a receipt from a place called Harry's Diner with drawings and weird symbols on it. So I think all those things that were on the wall are from these people. Maybe this guy who actually wasn't following you. Uh, at 8.35 p.m., took a coffee to Harry's, took a coffee at Harry's Diner, showed picture of M&H to waitress. Waitress remembered them, said M used to be a regular about 10 years ago. 10 p.m., back in my room, tried mapping M&H's movement since their arrival in Montreal. 11.40 p.m. Unable to sleep again. Heard someone exiting 507, but did not hear the elevator. Interesting. Why are you following them? And who's sneaking out at night? So many questions. Huh. Okay, this is the last page. Thank God. So the next day, 10.15 a.m. M&H arrived at the hotel's restaurant for breakfast. M&H... Left the hotel, got in a taxi, followed them to a place called Mount Royale at 11.30. M&H went skating on a small frozen lake, fell on the, a the ice while trying to take a picture. H might have seen me. Oh, damn. At 1.05 p.m., M&H ate at the lounge and left a ticket on the table. Ticket has weird symbols on it, just like Harry's diner receipt. At 1.30, M&H decided to leave because of the snowstorm. To 10 p.m., M and H arrived at the hotel shortly after me. 
H looks angry. Something happened during the taxi ride, but what? At 5.20 p.m., no sign of M&H since early afternoon. Tonight, we'll try to find out who's sneaking out at night. Dude, this is kind of sick, man. Game is kind of cool. Okay, Sophie, you should probably put this down. Now. Got that kind of pointed at my face? Like, it's blurry. Imagine throwing this away. Are they all the same? Yeah, just more film. Okay. Those fall out? Were those always on the floor? What was that? Um... What is this? Shaving cream? Uh, let's pick up this coffee mug. I think that's everything. Did I cover my tracks well? Just a mirror? Probably for him to do his shaving. Um, what's this again? Yeah, I think everything else in here is like his personal items, you know? So I'm just going to leave everything the way I found it. Can I check this drawer too? Aha! He's a holy man. I'm hearing footsteps and it's creeping me out. Uh, did I already beat this? I don't know if I can take your pills. Okay. I'm hearing laughing now. Bro. Really don't like that. Edith Franklin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I already read that. That's the address. Okay. I think I'm good here. Anything else I'm supposed to be doing? Two more targets. It looks like Mr. Morgan is stalking doesn't end with me. He's also following two hotel guests. M and H. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm grateful he only took pictures of me. He has extensive notes on M and H's comings and goings. Like he tracks their every move. I need to find out who they are and what we have in common. Maybe that will tell me why I'm caught up, why I'm caught up in all this. Hopefully Andrew can help, or at least. Tell me the plot of a book similar to, enough to this to let me know if the heroine makes it out alive. Okay. Bernard's the boss. I, I really don't feel like reading any of this. Look at these two. Yeah, dirty, dirty gooses. Stalking journal. Okay, got it all. A gun with a European look. Is that a Luger? Is that what it's called? A Luger? Ruger? What is it? I'm sure I'll find more laundry to add to the pile. Please towel. What? Like, am I good to go here? M and H. Maybe Andrew could find him in the logbook. Maybe I can call him? Or should I just go downstairs? Is there a towel I was supposed to grab? Do not disturb. Well, that's one less room to clean today. I won't complain. Stick to your room order, Sophie. Um, I really don't want to like call on the phone because I feel like if I call on the phone, distract Andrew, the guy might come back upstairs. Can I just go back downstairs now? I should call reception. M and H could be in danger. Oh God. Close it. Can I can I call? Yeah. Uh, 
Clarington Hotel reception desk. Andrew speaking. It's me. Oh, hey. Uh, just a sec. Beth, could you cover for me? Uh, again? Pretty please? Yes. Sorry about that. Damn it, Beth. So, I take it you opened Morgan's safe. What was in it? Help again. Oh, this journal. Yeah, Actually, I need your help again. Of course. What's up? I found out Mr. Morgan isn't only stalking me, but two other people as well. Two other staff members? Who is it? No, I think they're staff the members. Guests. I don't know their names, though. I, I was hoping you could find them in the logbook. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Are you alright? Of course. Uh, sorry. I'll... Creeping um, me out, man. I'll, I'll just need some more info to narrow the search. What do you know about them? They're a couple. They're referred to as... H and M. Uh, they were definitely M and H, but whatever. On a transfer request to... Mr. Morgan refers to them as H and M. Hmm. It could be initials, or maybe... I don't know. Husband and mistress? Oh. I, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. I'll need a little more to Me neither. Hmm. I found out that Mr. Morgan made a request to be transferred to room 507. But it was denied because... That's Mrs. Beaumont's room, right? Exactly. But why would he switch rooms? He's got his entire dark room set up in 505. I'm not sure. I, I just thought huh. it might be related. Maybe it's a better vantage point. Keep that in mind, but... Wait a minute. There's a couple staying in room 509. Hector and Marcella Cruz. Hector there it and is. Marcella. H and M. My thoughts exactly. Uh, what do we know about them? Why is Mr. Morgan stalking them? How are they linked to me? What do we do know about know them? Do you know anything about the cruises? Well, I was there hey, when they what's going on, Trisha? Stream is going well so far. I'm I just a snooping maid in a Cologne, 1950s hotel. That's not much to go on. Yeah, I know. How are you doing today? Do you perhaps have room 509 on your to-do list? I do, actually. Would it be wrong of me to suggest you do some... Snoopy? I guess that's what I'm going <laughs> for now. Ah, don't worry. I I'm just sure we'll love like touching things I'm not supposed to. I'll call you if I find anything. Uh, Watch out, alright? As a maid in I this will. game. I promise. Okay. Entering room 509. Do I not have the key or something? I must have forgotten my keys in the break room again. The break room? Come on, Sophie. That door won't magically unlock just because you want it to. Which one is the break room? My keys. Gone with the European look. Uh. Who's progress? All signs point to 509. Thank goodness for Andrew. After putting our heads together, we were able to figure out who the mysterious H and M are. Two guests, Hector and Marcella Cruz. Uh, wouldn't it be Marcella? Or maybe it's Marcella because... Anyway. A married couple staying in on the same floor as Mr. Spade in room 509. I bet a quick look around their room will reveal something, but I'll need my keys, which I left downstairs. Probably in the bake room. <laughs> Classic Sophie. Work has been insane. We sold out of our food at our cafe today. I just got off for a lunch break 15 minutes before we closed the cafe. They've even Come on, Sophie. Working hard all day, huh? Unlock just because you want it to. Wait a minute. My keys. I have all these coffee mugs. Where do I put the the dirty ones? So I just Yeah. Thank the Lord. Let's put them away. Uh well, so I have to go back downstairs into the break room, huh? This is, are you like on the night shift or something? Or like middle of the day shift? It's like if you're taking lunch break right now, it's like 7 p.m. Um, what was I doing again? Going to maintenance? Okay. Nope. 
Eugene must be running around trying to keep the hotel in one piece. Yeah, Linda's not exactly uh my door's always open. It's Come your on job in, to report when others don't do theirs. Snitches. Fine. Keep your secrets, Locker. Eugene, Gabrielle, Etienne, Andrew. Whatever. Jacques? What you got going on here, Jacques? Is that him and Linda Wendy? Look at each other. You can tell it's the real deal. Oh, they in love. I can't touch anything else. Okay, let's close it. Off limits. Well, Off if that limits. opened. Sesame? Oops. Nope. Who's at? No. Is this this? Eugene? I'm just a professional snooper at this point. What is this saying? Uh, Eugene. Half the washing machines are out of order. Because of this, I wasn't able to finish our current load in time. And Beth will be forced to offer guests an apology discount. Please fix the machines before Bernard kills me. Rebecca. Closer. I'm scheduled to get off at 9 my time, but I never get off on time. It's about 6.15 my time. Okay. Got you, got you, got you. Well, I hope uh, it remains pretty pretty chill for the rest of the day. You know, it's, it is Saturday. The weekend. Same day laundry service. Uh, repair parts. Okay, so I guess this guy's like a maintenance worker. Got a box of tissues. It's locked. Okay. But those are the only two that are open. Wait a minute, what am I, I doing? I my keys with me during break. I must have forgotten them in the break room. Break room is that way, but let's see if we can check other things first. Okay, the pipes work. Rebecca's had her hands full lately. I hope she's doing okay in there. Did I just... Oh, I maybe just found a Rebecca. Rebecca works with the clearing... Yeah, you know what? I'm sure everybody's character... Very interesting. Mom. Mom always means... Well, yes, she does. Left when I was two years old. Deadbeat. Um, guest. Paul Morgan. Mr. Spade. Is the guest at the hotel. He's staying in room 505. He seems to carry a roll of film around. He was in such a rush to get somewhere today that he knocked over a vase in the lobby. Oh, that's the... Uh, maybe because he was following them so fast. But other than that, I don't know much about him. I can't deny that I'm a curious to know more. I haven't heard from since since. Mom doesn't say much. I stopped asking. What is this? It's not the break room. Ah. Oh. Hypocrite bitch. Hypocrite bitch? What did Linda do? And to whom? You should play Ghost of Shishima. It's a masterpiece. It's on PS5 and PC. Okay, I might have to check that out. Why, why are you... Have you played it recently or something? Inspect. Linda, my wife will be at her parents tonight. Come on by my house at 8 p.m. And make sure you... Bro. What are that? Handwriting is atrocious. I will be at her parents tonight. So come by my house at 8 p.m. And make sure you bring the new lingerie I bought you. Hey, yo, Linda. You out here doing the... Do. Is B. Bernard? Put back. I could throw this away and clean it up. Or I could leave it there because it's none of my business. <laughs> it's none of my business. It's not a dollar. You're not even trying to hide the daggers in your eyes. Is that Linda looking at somebody else? Like, is that Bernard? Linda offers Wendy. No. What? I can't read that. Linda offers Wendy the Employee of the Month award. 
Linda offers Wendy the award? That doesn't look like Linda offering Wendy anything. It looks like a dude offering Wendy. You playing it for the first time since the director's cut dropped? It was originally a PS4 exclusive and I beat it when it originally released. Oh, okay. So now you're getting back into it. All right, I'll definitely have to check that game out. I've heard good things about it. I just never played it myself. To be tossed aside by your best friend like that? Oh, Wendy, that's a special brand of heartbreak. So Wendy and Linda are upset about each other or something? Wait, what? Linda, my wife will be... So maybe Wendy is mad at Linda? But I thought... I don't know, dude. Tempting, but every penny adds up, Sophie. Oil and nylons? Buy stockings? Oh, look at all these lockers I can just snoop around in. Old ports? Love me a good schmoky schmoke. I wish I understood you better, Yvette. You and Wendy had such a close friendship. What's Why Yvette and throw Wendy? it all away? Yvette's and Susan's favorite activity, talking behind other people's backs. So now we have to provide soap to the guests? This is getting ridiculous. What next, a hairdryer in every room? Oh, if only they knew. Speaking of hair, have you seen Rebecca's new haircut? I didn't think she could look even uglier. Smoke break at 345? Damn. Alright, let's close that. Who's that? That's Yvette. Susan. Oh, Susan. The fact that it gives me the option to throw away like people's stuff is so interesting. I can't believe Miss Perfect got the Employee of the Month uh, award again. I'm sure she won't even use the mixer she won. She's too dumb to understand how it works. Poor Jacques. He deserves so much better than that stupid whore. I... And did you see the look on Sophie's face when Bernard first showed the mixer? You'd swear that weirdo had never seen one in her life. Anyway, join me at 11.15 for a smoke break. Yvette. Yvette and Susan talking shit behind people's back, talking about me not knowing how to use a, a mixer. Yeah, I mean, I live with my mom, bro. Like, damn, I'm probably not doing a lot of stuff at the house. So, Jock is dating Wendy right now, and I, they're jealous of Wendy for something, but it looks like... It looks like someone's crying in there. I don't know. What was it? Everybody's locker just open? That lipstick? What is this? Making a noise. This goes beyond constructive criticism. It's just a personal crusade. Wendy, do you think I don't see the way you talk to guests? The way you smile at them and call them sweetie while you fill their coffee cups? The way you laugh at their jokes and bat your eyes like a stupid teenage girl? I'm not sure if you're doing it for the tip or to get the employee of the month reward, but either way, it's unacceptable. And I won't mention the way you wear your uniform. This is a respected hotel, not a pleasure house. Although I've always had a problem with your behavior, I tolerated it as long as the guests were happy. But now that you're getting engaged, I can no longer remain silent about it. What would Jock say if he saw you? I'm sure he would be as ashamed as I am. Who is this? Uh, this is the writing of this. Okay. Maybe you've got Bernard fooled like every other man, but if you don't change your behavior, I will find a way to convince him to fire you. This is your only warning. To, from Linda. Oh, and then. I don't want to think of what could happen to Wendy if someone found these. Should I? 
so I'm supposed to be like throwing away these clues? Hold on. Oh, Linda, my wife, we are. Well, I think Linda is also maybe like sleeping with Bernard when his wife is away. You all employ little. It was a, a failed attempt at a. Okay, whatever. And then. He's mad, calling them a hypocrite. Huh. Should I get in the way of all this? This is kind of juicy, ain't it? Carol. The official Carol. Oh. Here's the chambermaid's guide I talked about. Come see me if you have any questions concerning the job with the staff. I can tell you who you should be hanging out with and who you should avoid. Yvette. I hope you're having a great first week here. Valentine's Day is always a very busy time. Do not worry, it should calm down soon. Yesterday I saw you watch while we were playing cards at lunch. You are always welcome to join us if you wish, Nicole. But Carol must be very new here. Okay, so Yvette is one of the Clarington maids. She and Wendy used to be best friends, but now she just awful to her. And she, she and Susan have teamed up to ensure that no one at the hotel goes ungossiped about. Susan. Susan's another maid who works here. She's a notorious gossip and loves to make fun of others behind their back. She and Yvette share that charming habit. Uh, why isn't she friends with... It's because she's... Why is Yvette mad at Wendy? Nicole... Dear sister, we need to talk about Kevin. The other day, Patrick received some pamphlets from the friend from the States, and now he is convinced that our child is a sissy. How is that even possible? The boy's only five years old. Does that really matter if he likes to play with girls and prefers dolls and toy, to toy cars? Still, I cannot help but think if Patrick was right, if Kevin is indeed like that, what kind of future awaits him? Will he ever be able to get a job, to have a family, live a normal life? Every time I look at him now, I feel like crying. I just want my little boy to be happy. Not too much to ask. Love, Nicole. Damn. What's this? A hidden enemy. An invisible force is lurking in the shadows, threatening our very way of life. And it is not the communists. It is homosexuals. A menace to the young, that threat to everyone. But how do we spot them? They move unnoticed in every society, working in every field. They may even be married and have children. They could live next door to you, attend your church, or even be your son. In these pages, you will learn how to spot homosexuals and protect your society from these dangerous deviants. Ali, bro. What kind of... It was living a different life back in them days, man. Wait, wait, who's is this? That's my locker. Hmm. Being recognized for doing a good job. That feeling never gets old. Linda, she's cool with me, I guess. I've noticed a real improvement in the quality of your work lately. I've heard a few guests saying how clean their rooms are e after you've gone through them. Who knows? Maybe you'll manage to steal the employee of the month award from Wendy. Man, she don't fuck with Wendy at all. What is this a picture of? Ariad Ariadne's legacy. Okay. Haven't got many tips so far today. Uh, shoot. Can I close it? Yeah, let's close it. It's Rachel, locked. uh, Fine. Rebecca. Keep your secrets, locker. Okay. Off so limits. I should probably open this up. Throw this away, right? And yeah, I'm gonna throw this away. And then I'm gonna clean this off. That way, 
they, they can continue to work here. Maybe some more drama can ensue and nobody gets fired, you know? How about that? Let's throw this away. So, uh, I know Linda is sleeping with Bernard. I know that. But let me... Let me get rid of all this. Keep that information for myself and I can use it later. Because I'm like that. This the key that I was looking for? I never even went to the, the place that they wanted me to go to. All employees, you probably were a violent type. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, yes. I already saw that. That'll do. Key. I'll just have to make sure I don't forget to return it. The master key? I mean, I can open this door? No. Toilet. What is it? Wendy? It's Sophie. Are you alright? Do I sound alright? I... No, yeah, but but I really I need to use the bathroom, so... Leave me alone. I don't want to talk. I, I'm not here to talk. I, I need to use the restroom. I overheard you and Jacques earlier. I'm sorry for disturbing you. No. Let's get juicy. I was in the break room earlier, and... Um, I, I couldn't help but overhear your argument with Jacques. I'm sorry he let Linda get to his head. He, he should be trusting you, not her. Yeah, well... I know I wouldn't be your first pick, but I'm here if you need to talk. Maybe later. We can talk about it. I can't talk about it right now. Mm. I, I'm sorry I was rude. Linda is very jealous of her. And Sophie? Yeah? I'm trying to break the her and up her and her fiance up. Okay, so now we're making friends. Wendy's gonna be our friend and maybe she can help us out with something. So me getting rid of the other things that I <laughs> me getting rid of the evidence prevents anybody from getting fired so maybe I can use her for later you know what I'm saying you know clues what clues did I write? let's get rid of all these so they're good to go uh progress Wendy's not doing so well. She's holed up in the bathroom, sobbing her heart out. I tried to comfort her and offer her a listening ear if she ever needs it. I don't know how much it helped, but at least she knows she's not alone. The master key, thank goodness. Linda keeps a master key in the locker room. In any case, is Linda like the manager of us, like the head maid? In any case, uh, of us misplaces our... If in, in any case of us misplaces our own set... I can now unlock room 509. Hopefully, I'll find some answers in there. The writing on the door. While retrieving the keys from the basement, I found words hypocrite bitch written on the red lipstick in, on Linda's door. She's a recipe for drama if I've ever seen one. Who's behind it? Most likely, Wendy. Yeah. So she's the head person, and she probably remembers when she was young and and pretty, and now she's probably, you know, Maybe not as much anymore. And Wendy's getting all the attention. And she's even jealous of the fact that she's uh, sexy and using her sexiness to, you know, gain more attention. Uh, the male gaze, if you will. And she's upset about it because maybe that used to be her when she was younger. Can I still go in the break room? He only unlocks the guests' rooms. I'll have to get my... mm. I've never seen two people more suited for each other. Wendy no, and Jacques. They need to. Yeah, Wendy didn't even... Is that a rat? Hey, yo. Okay. Let's go back upstairs. We spent an awful lot of time down here, but we did learn some, some juicy backstory. And I'm a sucker for some juicy hey. backstory. Oh, hey, Andrew. On break already? Uh, no, no. Not yet. I have to deliver something to our VIP guest. Again? Yep. The requests just keep on coming. What about you? Aren't you supposed to be in 509? I'm heading up now. I just had to grab Linda's master key before I could continue our investigation. Ah, gotcha. What a day, huh? Tending mm. to an eccentric VIP guest. 
discovering, uh, well, what you discovered in 505. Pretty exciting as far as a work day at the Clarington goes. Yeah, that's definitely one way to put it. That's not all, though. I spoke with Wendy in the bathroom. I saw something on Linda's door. While oh, I was yeah. looking for my keys, I found some graffiti on oh. Linda's door. No way. What is it? The words hypocrite bitch in red lipstick. I wonder who could have written it. Call this an educated guess, but Wendy has a pretty solid motive. To <laughs> yeah, you'd have for to be sure. living under a rock to miss how Linda's been treating her lately. Wendy shouldn't have done that. Linda's being too harsh. If Bernard hears about this, I don't want to get involved. Yeah, Linda's being too harsh. That's for sure. It's all Linda. If Bernard hears about this, Wendy will get fired, which is why I removed it because I like Wendy and Linda's a bitch. Yeah, Linda's been pretty bad to Wendy. I'm not surprised she snapped. Remember her birthday? Bobby slipped her a slice of cake from the kitchen and along came Linda to confiscate it, telling Wendy she was doing her a favor. I don't know how Wendy managed to keep her cool. If it had been me, I probably would have burst into tears. I was just yeah. calling her fat. Interpersonal conflict makes for a good read, but in real life, it can be a bit much to deal with. You've always been good at staying above it, though. You get along with everyone. The heart icon indicates flirting options. Some people are easier to get along with. That's like my mom always taught me. Nah, man, let's do some flirt. I don't think I, I can get use along this guy. With everyone, but some people are worth getting friendlier with, like you. Oh, thanks. I'm glad not everyone around here thinks I'm a complete bore. Wait till Beth hears this. <laughs> well, it was nice to chat. Spun him onto my web. I have to head to maintenance anyway. Maybe Eugene can help me find the product our guest of honor is looking for. Yeah, we both got a lot on our plates today. I'll be ready and waiting for your updates on H and M. Take care. You too. The basement? Yes, sir. Let's get out of here. And if for some reason people find out that I've been doing the snooping thing, uh, I'ma just say, you know, it's uh. It was his fault. And you made me do it. What is all this? Was this always here? Am I tripping? Maybe it's just to prevent me from walking over there. Oh, for this is the room I was initially in, correct? Why am I able to just still be in here? Whatever. Five oh nine. Do not disturb. Well, that's one less room to clean today. I won't complain. Also, do not disturb. Yeah. Let's do it. A lot of Weston bags. Y'all was doing some shopping, huh? Living it up in a new city, just balling out. The sweet life. Room 509? is one of our suites and Marcella and Hector Cruz have certainly made a made it feel quite lived in. There's a lot to look through, so I better get started. The answers I'm looking for might not be readily apparent, but when in doubt, clean. I'm sure something will come up. A breaking point. Andrew and I agree that the graffiti on Linda's door, hypocrite bitch, was most likely Wendy's doing. I hate to say it, but Linda's given her enough to ca enough cause after all. Yeah. Looks like someone had quite the shopping spree. Hey, I was going a little crazy, weren't you? More work for poor Rebecca. Hang in there, Reb. Uh, same day laundry service. 509. Tuxedo, pair of pants, some shirts and ties. She said hang in there, Reb. So I'm, I'm assuming Rebecca is the laundry person? Okay. Oh. My first step should be to tidy up a bit. 
Searching a clean room is easier than searching a messy one. Yeah, but if I clean things, what if I get rid of evidence that I don't want to get rid of, you know? Do they also have a safe? Okay, anything else on that side? No. No combination, no entry. Go ahead and close that. Don't want people to be walking around seeing me do stuff, hmm? Okay. Interact. I'll hold off on throwing this out just yet. The food's practically untouched. They must, they must have like ran out of there. That's a big bathtub. These things, I guess they did say it was a suite. It looked like I was about to tell the mirror a secret. Got that fast acting Windex. He looks wider smile. Why would I throw this away? Uh, inspect. What is this? Tell tablets. Moodle. Each Moodle tablet contains four active ingredients. Acetyl me acetophen and uh, yep aspirin. Uh, dose one tablet every third. What does it do? And caffeine, I guess, to get rid of headaches or something. Aha. An over the counter drug to relieve menstrual cramps. Oh, not for headaches. These are lovely. I wish you'd had more confidence in yourself. I still love you as much as I did on the day I met you. I will always remember the first time I saw you in that beautiful blue red dress on the mm, never mind, <laughs> bad one. It seems like the oh, oh wait. It seems like only yesterday when I first <clears throat> oh, okay, never mind, never no, not that one. Ten years ago. I promised I would always love you and <clears throat> okay, never mind, actually that's not good. Today I vow to pledge again what I pledged ten years ago. <clears throat> nah, too savvy. Everything changed the day you came into my life. I hope it will change again when a new member enters our... <clears throat> Never mind. I hope we can soon expand our family with a... <laughs> she doesn't even want kids. You know how important family is to... <clears throat> it's probably nothing important. Uh, this person's just like going back on themselves. Just write the letter, bro. You got this. Or maybe it's a she. Most likely the dude. A series of vows written and crossed out on a sheet of loose leaf. Yes, sir. That's what it was. Yes, sir. Pick up. Looks like someone tore that note apart. Oh. I some pieces. I that's why they trigger. want me to do that. Uh, progress. Nope. Lo and behold, a little bit of cleaning up after I stumbled upon something curious. A message from, of some kind, torn up and then discarded. If this... First piece was discarded so carelessly, then I might have a chance of finding the others. Am I really going through their trash? Hidden. Clean. Uh, is that dirt on the floor that I can clean? No, probably not. Where else are we? Oh, hello. But he's sleeping on the couch. Sleeping solo. One half of the cruises seems to have made their own sleeping arrangements on the room's couch. Whether that was voluntary or at the demands of the other, unclear. Hector Cruz. Hector Cruz or Use Morgan's shorthand, H. The other crews and uh, the husband of Marcello. They splurged on a suite, but I know not to assume that's a sign of happy marriage, especially when someone's made up a couch bed in the living room. The tension in the room is palpable. All American Fire Life Insurance is an insurance agent. Insurance ain't you got you balling like this?
Hector works at a service agent back in Texas. He must have taken some time off to come in Montreal. Yep. I got arrested in the deviant raid. Deviate raid? Person of interest. Are these the homosexuals they've been talking about? God, I want to read that, but like, my brain just can't allow it. Like, I, I just, I can't. Oh, there's another room. With a box filled with uh, juicy clues. Is this another room? Uh, should I have opened this? I probably shouldn't have. Should not have come here just yet, huh? I wasn't really Cruz done. Who's got her personal information stolen? Is Mr. Morgan behind it? Dear Mrs. Cruz, we apologize on behalf of our company for the privacy breach that occurred on the 25th of September. And thank you for calling it to our attention. We are currently investigating the breach and trying to understand how this individual was able to obtain your personal information. Rest assured that we will put measures in place to make sure the situation does not repeat itself. Your privacy is and always will be our top priority. Sincerely, blah, blah, blah. Harold Ferdy and John blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, uh, um, put roses on the floor. There's so much more over there. Okay. Before I go into that room and look around, there's more to see here. Someone's been sleeping here. I should leave it as it is. What is that? Uh, his Jesus chain, I feel. Wow, you look like a couple out of a magazine. They're beautiful. Oh God, that is probably so loud, huh? Sorry, that's really loud. Um. Okay, yeah, they got married in 1948. One half of the couple, they are more than just a few hands in their room that aren't likely the second honeymoon of their dreams. She clearly caught up in something. In one case, Cruises have some kind of suitcase on their bed. But not the kind I usually see. It's smaller, perfectly square, and only can be opened with a four-letter code. Hundreds of possibilities. I don't even know where to start. Cruz? No, that's too simple, I'm sure. A letter sticking out of the case addressed to Mrs. Cruz and signed by a Fernie Wiseman. Uh, apparently she suffered a breach of privacy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another Jesus book. Do they both have Bibles in the room? Him, uh, the, this couple and the Mr. Spade stalker? This person looking for you back in Texas, was he really just a co-worker? I could not believe you decided to renew your vows so far away from the family. Your father and I are very disappointed, and so are your sisters. Montreal, what a strange destination. I would not be surprised if there was another one of your, if this was another one of your wives' ideas. I met Luciana in town yesterday. She has five children, three boys and two girls, and is pregnant with her six. Juan has just bought them uh, that nice house on the corner of Prado and Ramos. Imagine if you had married her like you're supposed to. You would have always you would have had your own family by now yesterday i drove well, well you know parents that just like try to like make their kids feel bad about some like i told you so type energy is just like that doesn't i don't get it like why why would you ever be like this it doesn't make sense yesterday i also drove by your home to get the mail i was leaving i met a man who was looking for you i think he's one of your colleagues from work uh it's most likely mr spade but I'm not too sure. I told him you were in Montreal and would be back next week. When do you come back exactly? I hope you can be there for your uncle's birthday. On Friday, I will make your favorite cake. Love, mom. Yay, what is this? January, February. Enter selection mode. Um, 
things. Maybe these are like the codes for the the locker, the locket. S W. Looks like you had a few appointments with him, Mr. Cruz. Or her. Yeah, who the hell's SW on Tuesday, eh? What you got going on? Meeting with blah blah blah. Okay, another SW. SW. Looks like you had a few appointments with him, Mr. Cruz. Haircut or her bank appointment. Notary appointment. This is it. Can I not click on anything else? Okay. Imagine throwing that away. Should I be throwing more things away? Nah, I won't let that distract me. Express Montreal vacation. Expenses also. He's just writing down all of his uh his Uber receipts. I feel it. He's probably blowing bank on this vacation. A letter's taking uh no that's a clue. I'm really feeling like a detective out here. Hector, Bernie Weissman letter, rosary. Just have to get rid of it. Sorry, probably shouldn't waste too much time with that. Uh, what are those? I don't know what that is on top of your TV, sir. Uh, I think that is everything in here. Let me close that so it's not obvious that I was in here. Uh, I cannot clean anything. There is no need for me to call anybody, so I'm going to go in here now. And I need to find the code for the small box on the bed. Oh, I need to open the, the drawers more. Were there drawers in the other room that I missed? I'll have to go back. Uh, nothing in here. No, just, you know, just a regular me, just doing my due diligence. Some pretty lipstick. She fancy. Clue. That's a clue. A tube of violet red lipstick and an ornate casing looks expensive. Sure does. Maybe I'll find more of those torn paper pieces if I keep cleaning the room. Oh yes, I probably will find. Maybe that's like the code of the of the uh, trash. I mean, of the of the locket. It's probably in the bottom of the trash cans. I'm just doing my due diligence right now, you know? What is this? Fancy. Am I reading this right? The account's been emptied. Damn. Withdrawals. 200, 200. And then all of a sudden they just took out $5,000. Maybe this is what they were talking about when they were saying that their identity was being stolen. Sheesh. I wonder if that's the cause of their, uh... Their... This looks right up Andrew's alley. I wonder if he's read this one. Stranger in the night? Aspiring writer who works in a diner by day and writes crime fiction by night. Yeah. That. Pills provide birth control. Why is there a parenthesis around there? Development of a contraceptive pill believed to be the ultimate form of birth control was reported yesterday in a group of parents. What is N plus? Was that a game I used to play? Like a little ninja game where you like go back and forth, you're like a, a stick figure ninja. You ever play N plus? What a time that was. A bra on the floor? What's that? That's syrup? Oh, lice oil. Brand is gonna have a solution. Cleans to utilize a feminine hygiene. Keep out of reach of children. Gotcha, okay. <gasps> oh, I don't know why that scared me. Why am I attached to it? Pick up. Oh shit, is somebody calling me?
Hello. Oh shit. I'm cooked. Hello. I should have never answered this. Is, is that you? Bro, well, obviously not. Oh no. If I get the option to start sprinting and crouching now, I'm gonna be pissed. I love the ignorance that I have by not being able to do that. Call reception. Hang up. Yeah, we'll call reception, bro. Clarington Hotel reception desk. Andrew? Hey, Sophie. Did you just call me? No, I didn't. Then who called? Um, I'm not sure I understand. Someone just called and they said nothing. All I could hear was static and breathing. That's... Seven days. Settling. Uh, hang on. Hey, Beth? You got a minute? No. <laughs> Give me a second, Sophie. What a pleasant woman she is. Okay. So Beth tells me she just patched a call through to 509. You recognize the voice? No more calls to 509. Okay. Did she recognize the caller's voice? Oh, do you think maybe it was Mr. Morgan? Yeah. Hmm. Let me check. Okay, it was a male voice, but she's not sure whether it was Mr. Morgan's or not. Hmm. Did she notice anything else? Anything else? She says it sounded like a bell rang in the background. Like an elevator bell. So she assumed whoever was calling was one of our guests. You didn't see Mr. Morgan come back to the hotel, did you? No. I get why you're on edge, but I don't see any way he could know you're in 509. I haven't spoken to anyone about this. I know. Who's been sneaking in and out of the hotel? No more calls to 509, okay? Can you ask Beth not to patch any calls here for a while? Yeah, sure thing. Thanks. I haven't had time to check all of 509 yet, so I better get back to it. Wait a second. I just remembered something about this morning. Oh, I can't believe I didn't think about it before. Oh, what is God. it? A few minutes after Mr. Morgan knocked over that vase in the lobby, I saw Mrs. Cruz rush out of the hotel all alone. A few minutes after Mr. Morgan knocked over? I saw her rush out of the hotel alone. What time was it exactly? Really? Do you know what time it was exactly? I think it was a minute or two after 10. Hmm. What? I just, I remember hearing a loud noise on the fifth floor right around that time. Like a, a door slamming really hard. You think it was her? Maybe. Did you huh. notice anything weird about her? I don't know. She passed by the front desk so fast I barely had time to see her. Although... Yeah? I've always seen the cruises as a pair. I suppose it is a bit odd that she left without her husband. Maybe she was sneaking out. Or maybe she was following Mr. Morgan. Did yeah. he kill Mr. Morgan? I mean, did he kill Mr. Cruz? Hopefully I can make sense of all of this. I'm sure you can. Give me a call as soon as you found something, okay? Okay. Thanks for the info. Huh. What a health call in this place. Crime novel, bank account statement, newspaper article, most likely use a bookmark. We're talking on the phone. Andrew remembered some seeing Mr. Cruz, uh, Mrs. Cruz leave the hotel this morning right around the same time Mr. Morgan made a mess in the lobby. Was she following him? And where is Mr. Cruz? Hello, the phone rang when I was tidying up. When I picked up, all I could hear was breathing. No other response. A quick call. The reception cleared some things up. Thankfully, Andrew confirmed that Beth had patched a call through 2509. I asked them to put any 509 calls on ice for the time being. Empty the coffers. Uh, bank statement tucked away. Enough to add up around $5,000. Why make such a big withdrawal? Maybe they're trying to empty out uh, Mr. Cruz's bank account. And Mr. Spade and Mrs. Cruz can run away and have a affair. 
Just a hunch, just a hunch, just speaking. Do I have all the all the notes? All the papers? Oh god. He didn't even try to put those in the right order. Oh god. Hold and grab, move them into the right. Okay. This is the top. This this top side. This is somewhere on the side for sure, so it's underneath here. Quite possibly. Seems to fit. This also seems to fit here. Uh, this looks like it's going to be on this side. This is on the top somewhere. Right here. This... Dude, I'm just the best detective. Nobody is out detectiving me. Not even a word, but does it really need to be? You know what I'm trying to say here. You are really doing it. Who rips a paper up like this? These weird ass chunks. It's some kind of code. Could I break it? I've been seeing those codes on other people's the other rooms too. Mm -hmm. Like the symbols, like the little G and the, um, we're not leaving that here. You solved the torn note puzzle. Yeah, let's inspect it. Oh, God. 484 musical note. Okay, so four is D. Maybe. Hello? Am I tripping? Press on a key to enter it or press space to clear the letter. Yeah. Oh, I have to type it in. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. H. This is already not making sense. Musical notes. Okay. Three it would be C, maybe. This is probably too simple, huh? Tilda? Oh god. Maybe... Hmm. This wouldn't make sense. <laughs> Nobody starts it with the letter D. So maybe it's like an I or A. I is maybe s uh this is another two letter words maybe it's like a on okay i don't think that would be on because what word has two ends in the middle like this. Okay. I. Did. Nope. No. Okay. Yeah, I'm tripping. Let's, let's keep going. Maybe that there's like a code like decipher or somewhere. And I don't have to do this with straight brain power. Let's make the bed. Still got to do our job, you know. SOS equals five. Oh, okay. So eight is a W for sure. 
five is a O, equal signs are S's. Oh, these symbols match some of the ones on the torn message. That's one of the symbols. Oh, yeah, okay. that's one of the symbols. That's one of the symbols. Uh, yeah, okay. So... Locked. It looks like the code is made up of four letters. Is there anything else? What is this on the floor? Is there anything else for me to clean in here? Still gotta do my job, you know. Oh, did I ever open up this side? I think I did. Get rid of those. <laughs> Clearly it's not working. I know you're trying to put roses on the floor to like woo your, your woman back, but as you can see, she ain't feeling it. Uh, okay, so the W is an eight. Ah. Now that is spinning me. What? Oh no, eight is a W. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And number five is an O. Okay. Maybe this is like two. This is or no or N O or two T O. Hmm. S is equals. Uh, where's the equal sign? Okay. Not a lot to go off of there. This is like either an A or an I. If it was an I, maybe these are L's because it's like I will. I will. Hmm. Would this make a. Need to find more clues. Was there anything on the back of these? Circled the number 16 for what? Attempt number 12. Potato? What? Any other clues? Any clues for me in here? is made up of four letters but I don't even have a can I like attempt to put the code in there yes this is digging all the parts of the secret message now I'm glad I didn't throw away the trash now uh, it's a matter of finding out what the code these symbols are strange and strangely familiar hmm why Maria? I should keep an eye out for those symbols yeah, didn't I find some of those, like, in the previous room? Like, yeah, I swear, yeah, let's close that. Hmm. What I'm were sorry. You apologizing for? Please forgive me. And were you forgiven? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, 
lodging message, yep. Uh, maybe. Maybe I can check the other room, because I swear there was some of that going on in the, in the other room. Five oh seven. That's the do not disturb room. Five oh six. Damn, it was. Oh that... boy, someone's been living it up. Am I even supposed to be in here right now? Holy. Discover historic and gay Montreal. There must have been a child living here. He really just scold us for talking? These Montreal cab drivers, I swear, I know. Thought he'd appreciate us to make a conversation. Thank God, a good old fashioned pen and paper, at least. Yeah, it takes me back. At least Sister Gabriel uh, isn't here to confiscate them anymore. So, like I was saying, are you ready to your week long bridal shower, Miss Hubert? Stop it, Simone. I'm not Mrs. Until we walk down the aisle, this week is for thinking about anything but that. That's right. We're making the most out of this week before I lose you to the jaws of married life. I would never. I won't be. Another Andrea, I promise. Leanne, he's going to kick us out if you keep making me laugh. The Montreal Tourism Association. Man, what? Another fan of the Gossiper. I never did finish that article from this morning. That feels like so long ago now. You know what? Before I go into this room and just open a, another huge can of worms, I think in the very first room that I was in, I want to say that there was, like, unless I got rid of it all, I swear there was like papers that had like weird like symbols on it, no? Or maybe that was in the room where um, the stalker guy was at. Yeah, maybe it's in the stalker guy's room. Oh, what's in here? I never opened it. Can't even interact with that safe. Um, where were the codes? I'm pretty sure the codes were like inside here. No, let's close this door. It's probably not even that type of game, but you know, you can never be too sure. I swear I seen like, like random musical notes and stuff on um, pieces of paper and things like that. I'm not going crazy, I swear. Huh. Did I open this? I don't remember if I opened that, um, or like if that drawer was something I opened. How are you supposed to support yourself when no one will give you a job or a place to live? I understand your situation, and I'm sorry that you had to spend so many years in the hospital. However, this does not change the fact that you don't have the qualification for the job. And even if you did, I cannot hire someone in your situation. Damn. Other staff members would simply not feel safe around you. I would ask you to not contact me anymore. Jeremy Sandberg. Hey, weirdo, 
Stop wasting my time. I'm not hiring you ever. God damn. Mr. Morgan, you know I have a lot of respect for what uh, for your, what you and others have done for this country, but I am not a charity. If I don't receive the past three months of rent before the end of the week, you'll have to vacate the apartment. Thank you. Poor guy. There's so much stuff I didn't see in here. One War Two Victory Medal for $15? That's so sad. He had to sell that. A World War Two medal. Or some change, man. Where did I see the... It was like... I swear, I'm not tripping, man. Definitely seen those symbols on some of the things in this room. Maybe I should take another look around. Oh. Yeah, those footsteps were just keeping me out. I panicking a little bit, not gonna lie. Okay, so squiggly or high. Yeah, I don't know. That doesn't really mean anything to me. More of these symbols. Just what I was looking for. Okay, hopefully she can decipher them, because Lord knows I don't know what that means. That's one of the symbols. Oh. Y. Seven is a Y. Okay. Okay, okay. T30, upside down T. Uh, excuse me. There they are. Yes, these are part of the same set. I think I can use this. Yes, these are part of the same set. I think I can use this. I have to click all yes. of them. These nah, are part not. of the same set. I think I can use this. Okay, toodles. We got this key here. Uh, yep. Yeah. I mean, can he even get back into his room? Okay, whatever. Let's open up that uh, that box, or at least decipher the. Is there anything else over here? Actually, there does not appear to be anything at all. Janitor's mm, closet. I think I have all the supplies I need. Yeah, but what if there's more? Whatever. Let's do some deciphering. Sleep around to find missing symbols. So A, uh, the number two was an A. The loopy loop is an H. Ah, now that does not make sense. What word would be? Oh, the. <laughs> That's got to be a T then. Um, uh, so it's got to be an E. It's the only thing that makes sense. Leave. I will leave notes. Uh, in the vent near to... Next, next to seven was 
I, so next to your book, maybe? Um... That'll be uh, your an event next to your room. Oh. I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. I immediately went to snitch. Clarity I will not be alone in these crimes. Hey, Andrew, it's me. Sophie. Did you uncover anything in 509? I did. I found a message written in strange symbols. A kind of secret code. What? Awesome! Uh, did you crack it? It says, I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. In the vent? What an odd thing to do. Yeah. And whoever the message was intended for went through a lot of trouble to hide it. It was torn in a dozen pieces and scattered in three different trash cans. So the cruises are keeping secrets from each other. Do you think maybe one of them's having an affair? It could be an affair. I think it's blackmail. Yeah, I think it's more than just that. I don't know. It really looks like blackmail. Blackmail? What makes you say that? Money, man. Empty bank accounts. I found a bank statement belonging to Mrs. Cruz. Her account was emptied. Very recently. Emptied? No one does that unless they're in trouble. Or traveling. What do you mean? Well, they're not home, so they do need their money handy. Plus, a trip can be pretty costly. It's weird, but it could be anything. Did you find something else to back your theory? Uh, security breach. I also found a letter from some sort of company, Fernie and Weissman. It mentions a security breach. Targeting the cruises? Just the wife. It seems some of her private information was stolen by someone. Okay, it can't be a coincidence that she would withdraw all of her money right after a security breach. Whatever it is they found out, she was willing to pay them to keep quiet about it. Yeah, that's mm. what I'm thinking. It could be blackmail for sure. Do you think Mr. Morgan's the blackmailer? Or he was hired to find the blackmailer? What if he blackmailed me too? Could be our mystery caller. Maybe he was hired. What if the cruises hired him to find the blackmailer's identity? By following them around and taking pictures of them? That's a weird strategy. Maybe he hopes to catch the blackmailer the next time he gets in touch with them. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess. Yeah, maybe, I'll go maybe have a not. look at the vent that's mentioned in the message. Just to be sure we're on the right track. Good idea. It's almost break time for me. If you need my help again, you can ask Beth to patch you through to the break room. All right. Enjoy your break. Thanks, Sophie. He's going on break. That means he can't call me if there's like a warning or something that I need. Uh, what door is that? You solved the secret code. The message said next to your room. So it has to be a vent in the corridor. Okay, yeah. You are right about that. Um, actually, could I put this back inside? Locked. It looks like the code is made up of four letters. Did I open this already? I sure did. Okay. Let's open up the vent. Bernard kissing. I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. But which vent? Look at them. They're doing the naughty in there. Wendy. Hey, yo. That is cool. You erased the lipstick message so nobody was fired by Bernard. I saved the day. Now y'all can do whatever y'all doing in there in peace. Oh, that is my foot. 
Can I open this? Now's probably not a good time to disturb Bernard. Uh, but he's cheating on his wife. <laughs> With your boss. Hmm. I think I have all the supplies I need. You need to go in there and ask for a raise and be like, I know what you're doing. Give me a raise. Nice I'm towel. sure I'll find more laundry to add to the pile. Whatever. Am I really supposed to be finding laundry? Did I go in their bathroom? Did I take the towels? I'm a dirty rat. I don't take the towels. What was this again? Love notes. Um, 507. Now it says do not disturb on it. Uh, vent next to your room. What vent next to the room? Is this the vent? Oh, shit. Am I really about to have to unscrew this? My trip. Can't open these without a screwdriver. Ah, makes sense. Makes total sense. Can I go in here now? Did they put their name oh, everywhere? Another one. Wendy and Chuck have really gotten around. Are they just putting that in every room that they've done their thing? The box whenever there's a power outage. Another chopped up note. Okay, okay, let's... Most likely at the bottom. The top, maybe. On the right side, perhaps. Right here in between the two. Okay. Highest priority, huh? That means Eugene's probably working in Bernard's office right now. What is it? Bernard tells me that there is a cold draft coming from his window, and it's turning his office into a freezer. Fixing this could be your highest priority today, Linda. Ah, so he tried to get Eugene to like not be in here, I guess. So. Linda and Bernard could be in the room right next to his office to do the do. But it seems like y'all some dirty dogs, man. What Wait, is this? Sophie, you don't need these. Be careful. It's a slippery slope towards becoming a hoarder. A uh, clue. Destination Bernard's. According to a note from Linda, in the janitor's closet, fixing the broken window in Bernard's office is to be Eugene's highest priority today. Since he's not around, he must be dealing with that. He knows better than to ignore director from Linda. Time to head into the lair of the beast, I suppose. We're going into Bernard's office later to find some more, I guess, blackmail on him. I guess I was hoping for whatever, leaving those notes. I don't know, but no so much. I need a screwdriver. Called up Andrew. All right, yeah, a lot of clues, a lot of clues, a lot of clues. Is there not a screwdriver in here anywhere, brother? Oh, Eugene, I had no idea. Dear Eugene, a friend of mine has heard from her hairdresser who heard from her sister-in-law who works as a secretary to the mayor in the city that plans on building a new mental hospital right to the Clarington. Imagine Denise could get the care she needs while staying close to home. It's almost too good to be true. I don't dare get my hopes up, but still, 
I'll keep my ear to the ground and I'll keep you posted uh, when we have more news. More wishes choice. So I guess his sister is in the mental home as well. William Weston, manager of the Weston store. Why is it circled? Shop owners against new mental hospital. A group of downtown Montreal businessmen and shop owners met with Mayor Sarto Fournier last week to air the grievances concerning the city's recent decision to allow construction of a new mental hospital on Dorchester Boulevard. William Weston, manager of the Weston department store, says he and his group will fight tooth and nail to prevent the hospital's construction. Will our customers feel safe to come downtown for their shopping needs knowing there are lunatics next door, he said? The hospital would be the first of its kind in Montreal, as patients would be free to come and go as they please. Dr. David Blunt, the young psychiatrist behind the initiative, believes that allowing patients to maintain a connection with the outside world will facilitate their full return to society once the treatment is over. Interesting. It sounds like Eugene asked Bernard to stop opposing the construction of the new psychiatric hospital. And Bernard was Bernard. Dear Eugene, I was unaware of your daughter's con oh, it's his daughter, not his sister. I was unaware of your daughter's condition. I can only imagine how difficult this must be for you and your wife. Do not worry. You only have to look at my brother to see how rotten apples grow, even in the best of families. Uh, as for your request, I'm afraid I'm unable to grant it. Mr. Weston is both a good friend of mine and a benefactor to the Clarington. It would be inappropriate for me to oppose him. Also, considering his great influence in this city, I have no doubt he will manage to prevent the hospital's construction no matter what. Thank you for your understanding. To be fair, business is business. He's you know, looking out for his janitor. W would that, like, benefit the company? Like... <sighs> It's like a business decision, and then there's like a personal decision to like help a friend in need, I guess. I feel like, I don't know, I kind of feel like Bernard Loki made the right decision here. Like thinking of it in a business standpoint, you know? Oh, this must be Eugene with his daughter. He looks like a caring father. Eugene's kind of old, ain't he? Screwdriver, please. Screwdriver. Hmm. What's life without a little challenge? Yeah, like, can I not just use this? Like, I know it's not a screwdriver, but like, it's a flathead, and I could use it. So, close it. What's life without a little challenge? Oh, we can't get in there without the screwdriver, She's lady. A pro at fixing the fuse box whenever there's a power outage. Got a screwdriver down there. Um. Okay. Need a screwdriver to open it. Huh. Okay. Gene must be down in Bernard's office. I should go ask him for a screwdriver. Okay. Uh, I think this is a good spot to, to call it a little break. Uh, I'll go down to Bernard's office and get that screwdriver so I can come back up here and open up this thing to get the note so I can decipher it because I have the code in my head. Uh, uh, in the next part, of course. Uh, because right now, I'm going to take a little break. So if you're watching this right now, thank you for being here. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit that like button. Please subscribe. I should probably start saying that earlier in these videos. Uh, in order to, you know, coerce people to do such a thing. Uh, but guys, yeah, this game is actually kind of cool. I'm really digging the whole uh, inspector, you know, snooping around, trying to, like, get to the bottom of things. There could, just, like, so many storylines happening in this hotel. Um, and it's, I don't know, the characters are just unraveling. There's so much juicy secrets happening behind closed doors. Like, this door right here. Like, my manager's actually in here doing the do as we speak oh yeah you hear that well they were at least that was probably not a good time to disturb bernard yeah bernard's the, the manager uh and he's having 
uh, you know, a good time with the, I guess, the cleaning service managers, like the, the head maid, if you will. So yeah, doing his thing. But with that, guys, I'll catch you next time. And uh, thank you for being here. I'll catch you. Uh, uh, good goodbye. Um, I'll see you uh, next. Be here. Ne um, be here next time. Watch that. Okay. Bye.